Hi, this is Jeff at Magical Fruit Toots. In this video, I will show you how to use Photoshop to make a pie chart using the Transform tool. This can be done in Photoshop without having Photoshop extended or Adobe Illustrator. Begin by opening a new file. Make it 6 inches by 6 inches and 300 pixels per inch. Duplicate the background layer and name it Circle. Double click the old background layer and rename it BG. Change the foreground color to a light color. Then fill the BG layer with that color. Using the paint bucket or the edit fill command. Choose the circle layer and make sure black is chosen as the foreground color. If there is no Paths tab, go to Window, Paths, and insert it somewhere below the Layers panel. If there was a Paths tab, merely drag it down below the Layers tab. We will want to see both the Layers and the Paths panels at the same time. Choose the Brush tool and make sure the size is 6 pixels and Hard Round is selected. Make sure black is chosen as the foreground color. Choose the circular ellipse tool. From approximately the center of the canvas, hold Alt and Shift down and drag a circle approximately to the size you want. Right click on the work path, then choose Stroke Path. Make sure Simulate Pressure is unchecked. Right-click again on the work path and choose Delete Path. Go to the circle layer. Use the magic wand or selection brush to select the area around the outside of the circle. Make sure Contiguous is checked. Press Delete to remove the area outside the circle. Then choose Unselect or Control D to deselect. Make sure the circle layer is active. Also make sure View Rulers, View Snap, and Snap to Layer is checked. To avoid confusion, uncheck Document Bounds. Drag the vertical ruler to approximately the center of the circle. It should snap to the exact center. Drag the horizontal ruler to approximately the center of the circle. It should also snap to the exact center. Add a new layer on top of the layer stack. Name it Radius. Select the Line tool. Set the Line tool weight to 6 pixels. Make sure the Path option is selected. Adjust the screen zoom to achieve better accuracy. Move the crosshairs to where the top of the circle intersects the vertical ruler grid. Left click the mouse, then hold down shift and drag a line to the center of the circle. Let go of the mouse. Right click the work path. Be sure anti-alias is turned off. Choose make a selection. Right click the work path again and choose fill path. Click OK to fill the selection with the foreground color, which should be black. Also make sure anti-alias is not selected. Deselect the selection. Right-click the work path and delete the path. Double-click the hand tool to maximize the screen. At this point you may want to save your work, as it is a good starting point to begin various different segment options. Here is a chart that lists the degrees of rotation for a given percentage. In this video, we will use four pie slices, 60%, 20%, 12%, and 8%. Write down the slice percentages in descending order, the largest percentage first and the smallest last. For those percentages not listed on the chart, multiply the percentage times 360 
to get the degrees of rotation. For example, 12% times 360 is 43.2 degrees of rotation. We are now ready to start building our pie chart. Remember, if the percentage is greater than 50%, you should use a negative degrees for rotation. First, we turn off the ruler guides by choosing View, Clear Guides. Duplicate the radius layer by right-clicking on the layer and selecting Duplicate Layer. Click OK. Open the Free Transform tool by choosing Edit, Free Transform, or Control T. On the upper left hand side of the Free Transform screen, you'll find the Control Grid. The Control Grid uh, represents the point of axis of rotation desired. For pie chart purposes, we will always want this point to be in the center of our circle. As you can see, if I rotate this line, right now it is uh, rotating in the middle of the line and not in the middle of the circle where I want it. we want to move the axis point straight down. So to do this, we go to the reference grid and choose the bottom middle point. Now if I go and I rotate this line, this, this radius, it will rotate correctly with the right axis of rotation. As an alternative to changing the little reference grid, you can change a reference point by holding down the Alt key while placing the cursor over the current axis until it turns into a little diamond. Then drag it to the center of the circle and let go. This will now change your reference point. Next we will enter our degrees of rotation for our slice of the pie. In this case it's minus 144. Since we had a 60% slice, which is greater than 50%, it's a minus negative amount. So up here in the degrees of rotation, we put minus 144. Click Tab. It's ready to go. You need to click the check box or enter to accept it. We will be following the following procedure uh, for all the other slices. Number one duplicate the previous top layer. Number two, open the free transform tool, control T. Number three, choose correct reference point on the reference point grid. Number four, enter the degrees in the degrees rotation box and then accept if it's okay. Next we'll make the 20% slice. Duplicate the radius layer. Control T to pull up the free transform tool. So let's check where the axis of this line, of this radius is. That's what I thought. It's in the center, so we want it to be up here in the middle. What we have to do is choose the upper right spot. That's to move it up to the right. To, to be in the center of the axis of rotation. Now we enter our degrees which was 72 for the 20 percent slice. Click the checkbox to accept and we're done with the 20 percent. Now we'll do the 12 percent slice. Duplicate the top layer. Press Control T to get transform tool. We need to decide what the rotation point will be on this chart. Looks to me like it's going to be the bottom right. We can double check this to see how it rotates. Yes, it's rotating in the middle. So we want to move it down to the right. So choose the bottom right corner of the reference chart. Then we're going to put our degrees of 43.2, which is 12% of 360.
and we're done with that slice. At this point it is not necessary to do the last slice which was 8% as it is already here since we started out with this radius in the beginning whatever's left over is the 8% assuming we did the rest of these correctly. So at this point we're finished with our pie so if you have uh, 8 slices you would put the first 7 in and the 8th one would automatically be there. It's not necessary to do the calculations and do the uh, lines again because it would just overlap this last line anyway. We are now finished with our pie chart. If you like you can turn off the eyeball on the BG layer and you could merge all the layers and now you have a file that you could save and use in other Photoshop projects to your liking. Thanks for watching.